Hello everyone, in this screencast we are going to learn how to generate demo content for your local WordPress install which is going to be used for both theme and plugin development alike. There are two ways in which you can generate demo data for your local WordPress install. One way is to use an XML file which has everything coded into it and the other way is to use a plugin. In this screencast we are going to see both the ways. and. The best source of XML data is available at codex.wordpress.org slash theme underscore unit underscore test. We'll be providing this link in the description and go to that link and then go to setup test environment setup and then click on this. You'll be taken to a file which has some gibberish and then just download this download this particular file just put control s and then save it. I already saved it. I'm not going to save it again. Now we'll see how to install uh, this particular XML file. We have to import that XML file. For that, go to your dashboard and then click on tools and then import. You'll be taken to a window which has a list of links like blogger, blog role, categories, blah, 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 blah and then go to wordpress this is more important you'll be a window will open and then it will ask you to install a importer plugin click on install and then just wait for the program to finish installation the uh, we have installed wordpress importer 0.5 successfully now you have to activate this plugin activate and run importer successfully you have activated this plugin now you have to choose your demo data choose file go to your desktop and then open the test data which you have downloaded before click on open and then upload file and import click on this checkbox download and import file attachments and then click hit submit Just wait for the install import to finish and then you have successfully created your demo data. I have successfully imported uh, like theme unit test data and remember it can take some time so don't freak out if it is taking some one minute or something okay. If you have a fast connection it will take at least a minute or so so don't worry. We'll see what exactly happened after importing the XML data. Now, just control click on the theme tester site and then go there. Here you will be, uh, you'll have uh, different types of tests like layout test, hello world, readability test and all. The thing is the XML data is designed in such a way that your whole theme is going to be tested in different ways and it will be only called a successful theme if it passes all the tests here there are some different categories and there are some different tags somewhere here and yes make sure that your theme is going to pass all these tests if you are a theme designer now we'll see how to use a plugin for demo data to generate demo data using a plugin, go to wordpress.org slash extend slash plugin slash demo data creator and then you'll find a huge download button. Click on that and then download that plugin to your plugins directory or anywhere you want. I'm just going to save it to my desktop and I've already saved so I'm not going to save it again. After saving the demo data creator to my desktop, I have to install that plugin to my local WordPress install. Here I'm going to use another blank WordPress install for installing this plugin so that is called theme tester 2 login it's going to be my initials and yes now go to plugins and then Go to add new here, this particular link. And then you can either, uh, you have to instead of pressing search, 
you have to press upload link. After pressing upload link, you have an option to choose a file from your computer. Just click on choose file and then go to your desktop and then click on demo data creator.zip. Open the plugin open, and then click install now. It says plugin is successfully installed, then click activate the plugin. And your plugin is successfully activated. And there you can see demo data creator is activated and then you have a link to deactivate the plugin. Now you have to use this plugin. So go to tools, click on demo data creator and then just you have, you'll be presented with different options here um you can just click on whatever you want i you want how many users i want some 100 users or i just want some 50 users click on 50 and then create users then it'll say process just ask you to wait for some time because it's processing and then you will get a green indication saying 50 demo users have been created. You can do this to all these things. If you want some, uh, if you want some 11 categories, you can just do it here and then create categories. If you want some, uh, there are uh, certain restrictions like you can only create maximum of 100 posts and you just have to have a minimum of one post at least and so on. Depending on your whims and fancies, you can do whatever you want. I've gone ahead and created some categories, posts and pages and to see how our uh, WordPress install is looking under this new uh, demo data, go to visit site or control click on theme tester. And then here is your new demo data. Nice, right? The demo data creator has some kind of restrictions like you can only create maximum of 1000 users. And this restriction is clearly reflected here when you can create, create only a maximum of 100 posts. Of course, that is very huge. But if you want some 1000 posts or some 500 posts, then I suggest you another beautiful link by at betterwp.net and go to this particular link. And then you can find, uh, where is it? Here, attached files. You can find dummy data for WordPress and uh, this has some 1000 posts. You can create some 1000 pages, some 200, 2000 comments and all you can see everything in this particular post. So I advise you to look into it if you are really fixated on this whole number issue. Thank you for watching. See you next time.